guys, uh, today we're doing a little, something a little bit different from the normal. Today we're going to do a, uh, a tutorial on uh, the new FLAI operations. So first of all, what um, if you haven't, if you're unaware of what to do, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go over to the FLAI website, which is um, on the screen now and the link will be provided down below in the comment section so all it is is uh, flai.app and that will direct you to there the next part you will want to go to the uh, download section of that on the left hand side of the screen it will show downloads download the button will pretty much happen instantaneously instantaneously and um You'll be right to go. So next is that we will want to open uh, the operation center. So we'll double click on that one. It will come up asking, go yes. All right, so I've just installed this just before, but uh, for the first time, um, you'll need to set that everything up so you can configure it. The great thing with the simulator now, you can choose either FSX, uh, prepared uh, 3D V4 without dynamic, and then you can have dynamic lighting. For mine, I have selected it with dynamic lighting, um, and then we want to change uh, change the path. I've got mine just as a, as in a secondary um, hard drive. I've got a total of four hard drives, so um, I've set this one here. This is where all of Orbix stuff goes as well for my uh, backups. So I've got the file, um, and I've just named it FLAI-ModelMatching. Once we've done that, we want to click save and uh, we will want to push update. Now for the first time, it's going to ask you a series of things. Um, it's going to s update it. Um, so it's going to calculate differences and whatnot. And we just want to go okay and let it do its thing. It might take a little bit. So, while that's all happening, this can, to the first time, it's going to take about 10 minutes for you to do it. And um, once that's done, it's pretty much, it's so simple to use. It's so easy. It's not funny. But uh, for some people that are struggling with understanding how to do it, there's, uh, that's what this tutorial is for. So we just want to make sure everything is um, set up correctly on it. So I actually do highly recommend keeping it to a separate file path. Don't try, do not install this into your um, your prepared 3D uh, root file at all. You do not want to do that. It will probably mark everything up and additional files will be in there for no reason. Um, there's a few there's a few steps going going forward and all that. It's it's fairly straightforward. They do have a um, install installation guide um, but again people that do prefer to see this firsthand um, this is the way to do it as you can see on top left hand side it will say my version latest version and, and when it was done release notes um, if you do have their old one the BV AI one um, make sure you delete and uninstall that first uh, there's quite a few places that you'll need to uninstall it. You'll need to uninstall it in the v, um, the vpilot root directory as well. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a moment. Um, so that's all updated. Um, that's done. So that's just a quick, simple one. Now the next step is we'll exit out of this. The next step is to open up prepared 3D. So once we do this, um, we'll load mine. However, mine does take about 10 minutes, so for the purpose of this, I'm going to fast track it. It will come up um, saying, do you wish to activate um, the FLAI add-on? And we always want to push yes. So because I've already done it, it's not going to show up on mine. Okay, so we'll uh, skip forward a little bit and we'll come back to that in a moment. Okay, so we've now done all that. Um, the next step is to open up vPilot. Uh, so we'll open up that one now. Um, again, yes. It will come up here. 
Um, because my simulator is not running, that's fine. It will have up flash up um, a white box and installing some some of them. So we're going to now go to settings and we'll go into prepared. Um, so we're going to the model matching for P3D V4. Um, as you can see, the result, I've got 9,470 models found, 4,400 of them have been clearly identified. Um, so if you've got under, it does advise in the manual, if it does under, um, if, if it does under 400, then there's, uh, there's an error with, um, with your vPilot. So you need to make sure you've got v, uh, version 2.1.17 or later. Um, of vpilot um, to be able to get this working so once that's done I have mine set a little bit different most people have theirs as set as the bomb raider um, but that's fine so you go into the advanced tab now so we want to make sure um, we've got all those and um, so as you can see this is the one we're looking for that's fine so then we go into the custom rule set. If you do have the um, the BVAI one, you will need to delete that. So I recommend just going into that file directory and just delete it after you've uninstalled it. Just go and do a full delete, um, only because it's going to free up some EC drive for whatever um, driver you've got your set to. So custom rule set is the next one. I didn't have this in here, so what it does ask you to go to add a custom and um, it will then ask you to go to vPilot. Uh, so, uh, so that is in the documents. Um, so you, all you do is you go into, uh, you go into your custom rule set uh, button and navigate to documents and vPilot vpilot files so again just go into documents vpilot files and that one there so make sure you select that uh, once that's selected um, you just push ok and you're, you're pretty much done and that is as simple as that so again i had in my other file i had um the bvi in my vpilot files i had the bvi bvai app um, folder as well so just delete that one off and uh, you should be all good to go I hope that uh, tutorial, quick tutorial helped you guys and um, make sure you leave a comment and uh, hit the like button and we'll see you next time thanks guys